Gordo's Podcast, the revolutionary force in podcasting. Uh, welcome to Gordo's, the podcast about San Antonio Eats and Texas products. I'm your host, Dave, and alongside me is Big Dan. How's it going? They need to cut Zeke Elliott already. <laughs> we don't even know what's happening. Well, the day we're recording this, he's holding out. Uh, this is <laughs> get rid of him. Turn Trade into him, a, get something for him. Pod, uh, Dallas Cowboys podcast, real quick. Jason Garrett needs a better motto. Oh man! All so right. from the cowboy hate already, even though you're still going to watch every I love game, my Cowboys, and still buy their shirts and hats. Mm-hmm. And then, uh, if you had the time off, you probably go. I see a game. I do want to go to a game this season. <laughs> so you're still going to spend money <laughs> to see Jason Garrett coach. A lot of money to see that idiot coach. And that uh, stadium of the owner. And that is an amazing stadium. Though. Uh, but yeah, so we're here with another week and we're doing uh, Gino's Deli. Yes. And this one was voted everything to. They, I, I have it. What they've been voted right okay, here. Okay, you got the good notes here. So, I didn't take notes on this I one took too. Notes this week. Yeah. Or this time for once. All right. So, Gino's. So it's got all their awards here. Mm-hmm. So, Gino's Deli is ranked one of five essential sandwiches for lunch uh, by Yelp. That was in June. Mm-hmm. San Antonio's cleanest restaurants in 2019. Okay, uh, that was by the Express News. BuzzFeed ranks Gino's Deli the best burger joint in Texas. And that was wow. in May of 2019. A burger joint? See, they have burgers. I need to try a burger. Yeah. Okay. And then, of course, uh, they've been all over local news, or local TV and stuff. And then Gino's Deli ranked second best restaurant in Texas in 2019 by Yelp. That was in March they got ranked. Mm-hmm. Second best in Texas. Uh, Gino's Deli makes San Antonio Magazine's best of 2019 list. Mm-hmm. And then uh, they made the list of the cheesiest things you can eat in San Antonio by the current. And that was okay. in January. That was just this year's accolade. Yeah. They have it on their website, that, that little mm-hmm. whatever. But yeah, so Gino's is. Yeah. And you heard about this one when you were. Uh, Joe. Yeah. Oh, the, okay. The tiebreaker for the, uh, for the uh, March Fatness Tournament. Oh, okay. He told me about it a few years ago. And uh, so I had gone, I don't know, I guess it was probably about two years ago now. Mm-hmm. And uh, I was like, man, we need to go. And uh, you hadn't been there, right? No. So, yeah. So, and I hadn't been back since because they're just, they're not close to the house or anything. But mm-hmm. well, I don't know, I went the first time, it was good, but I wasn't like judging, you know, and I went the first time. So, yeah. So let's put it on the list. So uh, they're and, over there off of uh, Hebner and like Lock Hill Selma. Yeah. And then we, we got Our out. Is that Northwest uh, Military? I think so. Yeah, we there. got out of Loop 410. We got to the north, Sean. We had a request by Sean. We needed to get out of, we needed to go further north. So this is a perfect opportunity mm-hmm. to get further north. I mean, I'm all for going out. Yeah. It's just, I know, uh, well, because it, it made me seem like, I know I know you like to stay in your bubble right here. Me? Yeah. No, I go everywhere. Well, because you said that Chato's chicken was a dry for you. That's not well, really that's a dry. Not, I mean, well, it's not like, like it's close, but for good food, I go out of my way. Okay. So I'm then not going go to go out of my way to go to Chacho's Chicken. Okay. You know what I mean? All right. I go all over the place for good food. Okay. Like, I, I'll drive wherever, but I'm not going to go drive 20 minutes for Chacho's. Chicken. Yeah. I won't even drive 20 minutes for Chacho's Mexican food. But okay. if I'm in the area, well, then, yeah, oh, I'll okay. stop or whatever. But yeah. I mean, like, for Gino's, I'll go out of my way for Gino's. Okay. If I'm, like... Not gonna plan if I'm not planning on going to the north side mm-hmm. a day or whatever, and I wake up and I'm like, you know what? I feel like eating a, a good sandwich. Let's go to Gino's. It's no biggie, but I'm not gonna wake up and go, man. I want fried chicken. Well, I'm gonna go all the way to Chacho's. No, I'm gonna go to Chapman's or wherever. I'm not gonna go to Chacho's, right. or I'm not gonna get up and go. Well, I feel like pancakes. Let's go to Pancake Joe's. <laughs> well, that's never. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, okay, I thought you just like to stay in your bubble because. No. How do I stay in my bubble? I'm like all over the place when it comes to food. 
but not for the podcast though. Well, yeah, for the no, like <laughs> I mean, not, I mean for you, do, we, we, for you, I know you like to go out and yeah. eat and all that, but then when we do f- podcast episodes, it's, I have, it's like like if I'm working in one area or whatever, yeah. I go eat over there. It's just harder for me to like go places when oh, okay. I'm busy. If I'm somewhere close by for lunch, well then yeah, it's easy oh, for okay. me to go there. I just thought you liked your your little bubble here. No, so mm. okay, I don't have a bubble. Well, according to Sean, we do. The world is my bubble. Well, Sean says otherwise because he took the time out to make this <laughs> extravagant map. <laughs> we appreciate of it. Of us uh, going. And Sean, if you can redo the map. We need to redo the map. The taco places we did for March Fatness don't count. Yeah, because I see here that you put on. Uh, Data point. Eddie's Taco House. Big. Uh, oh, no, we did Big Papa's. Uh, yeah, so he put like all the. Uh, on the taco places, you gotta take those off. But we appreciate the the map. But yeah, because look at this little bubble right there. Not really. <laughs> There's one outside. Yeah, Macho Libre. Yeah, and we got, out, we got out of that bubble, and look at what happened. Yeah, it's not my fault. There's more good restaurants on this on this side of town. Mm-hmm. When you go north, it thins out. All right, I'm just looking at the map. Yeah. Okay, what well, you, well, then you don't you have a north, bubble then? When, it thi- when you head north, it thins out. Okay. And then, like, um, our like, our demographic is more of those spots, you know? Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, what we're aiming at. The people you hate. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> the, that's our... The hipsters you hate. We try to hit these restaurants that are, you know, and, uh, social media, you know, friendly, and that, you know, that's what you hear about. You know, you hear them on social media, you see them on social media, well, let's go try that. Mm-hmm. And... You know, that's where they're at. That's where the that's where the city's growing, you know? Yeah. These new restaurants are popping up on the south, east, and west sides, man. You know, the north yeah. side kind of got, oh, I'm going to have another 54th Street over here and an IHOP and uh, Jason's Deli and every No, come on. I don't have All time right. for chain restaurants, man. Come on. All right. Roadhouse is the only chain restaurant that I will promote. Oh, okay. Texas Roadhouse. Like, I've only been like twice. Other than that. I mean, that's what's over there, Sean. I mean, you, you gotta get. Where they go? That's that's. I mean, I'm, there's a lot of restaurants over there, but like the majority of the restaurants, like you, like we like to get on, jump on the bandwagon, you know. Mm-hmm. So that's where they're we're all popping up in Southtown, the Pearl, you know, downtown. That's where it's at. East side, West side. I mean, South side. That's where it's all happening right now. There you go, Sean. Does your answer then? That's why we've kind of stuck over here. But uh, so we got a request to go north, so we hey we headed north. We tried. I tried <laughs> to go north too for another one, but that yeah that was hard to get to last week. So so all right. I just thought well because Sean Sean brought it up, so that's your friend, not my <laughs> freaking Sean. So you can get mad at him. You you want to you yell at me? So. I get out of my bubble. All right. Well, I mean he didn't say bubble. It's just he just said oh you all should go out. And then I saw when I saw the map, I was like oh yeah it is kind of like. Centralized, but that's where all, that's here. where that's where it's at so, right now. All right, I don't want to go. I don't want to go review a. And a, then when he said that, and I listened to the chachos, and you're all like, "Well, it's a drive for me." I'm like, "Well, not really." Well, like, for good food is what I'm. So, like, so, I don't mind driving. So, so when you say it's a drive, it's because it was bad. No, like well, not bad, but not up to. Is it worth it? Yeah. Is it worth okay. the drive? I mean, it's one thing, like. Okay, the south is like, what is it, 12 minutes for me, right? Mm-hmm. And then, uh, so what was another one? that we, Danny Boy's, that's 20 minutes for me. Yeah. Danny Boy's and Chacho's is the same drive for me. I will gladly drive, time-wise, mm-hmm. I will gladly drive the 20 minutes to Danny Boy's every day if I had to. Mm-hmm. But to Chacho's, it's like, why? It's oh, like okay. I'm wasting my gas. You know what I mean? Uh-huh. That's. But then we don't know if it's a waste until Until we get there. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, that's, I just, I waste my, I waste my time with good restaurants. Okay. There you go, Sean. That's why. So Sean, redo the map, apologize in an email <laughs> to Dan for saying that we don't go out. We don't go out of the bubble. Uh huh. Now you know why. But then convenience has something to do with it too. Cause I mean, sometimes I'm busy as hell, you know? Yeah. Like there's something like that. What was it March or April or it was like, like this is crazy. Like I ended up doing like four restaurants in one day. Remember or something like that. It was crazy because it was like the only day I had off. Yeah. Yeah. So, 
There just, you go. A, just time too. Time is a lot to do with it. If we can hit a good restaurant that's like grand opening, you know, brand new, mm -hmm. that's you know, fifteen minutes from the house compared to going forty five minutes or whatever somewhere, that's where it comes into play too. But anyway, Gino's is like forty five minutes for me. Yeah, I'll gladly go to Gino's every day. All right, there you go. But don't get mad at me. You're looking at me like if I'm. Oh, well, you're saying shot. I got a bubble. I ain't got All no right. bubble. Well, I assumed you had a bubble because no assuming, like the madman in the White House. Uh huh. Well, he's not. Mm -hmm. So I just assumed because you said Chacho's is a driver. I'm like, eh, it's not that. Well, it's 20 minutes. Yeah. I'm wasting an hour to go there and back, right? Just okay. about. And All right. if I'm going to waste an hour out of my day, it better be worth my hour. You know what I mean? Yeah. Time is money. Money is time. For this podcast? Good or? food. No, for my schedule. Oh, okay. All right, there you like, go. I don't want to waste my Saturday off on bad food. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Just But you don't know it's bad until you... Yeah, uh, like yeah, Chacho's, we kind of, well, Chacho's, don't, we kind of knew. Don't assume. I kind of knew Chacho's no. was going to be bad. But it was good. In. No, it was good. It wasn't bad, but it was okay. Yeah. I mean, it was good. It was average. I gave it an average score. Yeah, that's right. So well, right. that's kind of what I expected, though. I expected that. Now, if it would have, like, Macho Libre was a big disappointment for my time. Oh, you yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was mine, too. I went over there. That's an hour for me to go there and back. And it's like, for that, really? Mm -hmm. On like my one day off? You know, like, come on. So that's where the, I guess the bubble would come into play. Mm -hmm. The quote unquote bubble. Anyway. All right. All right. There you go. There you go. So thanks for the map though, Sean. We appreciate it. <laughs> Just change the March Madness restaurants. They don't count. Yeah. And then add at the new one. So at we'll, we'll give at the new ones. We'll give we'll give Chef Raff is the official uh Chef, expert. Uh, food expert. Food expert of Gordo's. And then Sean will be the official uh, map maker. There's a word for it. Map map I don't know, I'm gonna make up a word. Hold on, no, hold on. Let me get the Google map, machine here. Map skateer. That is terrible. Map maker. It's a map maker. No term. What is a map maker called? Cart. Oh, cartographer. Gosh. What? I see. A cartographer. Map maker may refer to a cartographer. A person, what does it say? A person who, who studies, studies and practices the art of making maps. There you go. So Sean is the official cartographer. Cart or cart? C A R D. Cart. C A R T. Yeah, cart. Cartographer. Ographer. Cart or grapher of Gordo's. <laughs> Cartographer. Cart cartographer. So, Sean, congratulations. You're the official cartographer uh -huh. of Gordo's podcast. Uh, whenever you he say he's a, got a new job, right? So we can... Yeah. Well, I don't know. He may not have time to make maps anymore, so... Oh, okay. But, I mean, we can always plug his job if he makes yeah, maps whatever. for us. He can be a sponsor. <laughs> that's, uh, <laughs> he's that's a map, map cartographer. The so, whenever... So, Chef Rav, do you ever have anything going on? Let us know. Let us know, and then we'll... Or post it or whatever, because he's the official. Uh, it comes with perks being the official. The official whatever. Whatever of Gordo's comes with perks. <laughs> 137 people on Is Instagram. That what we're up to? Yeah, on, on Instagram, and then whatever Facebook has 80 whatever on Facebook people or no. Just like I plug Kelly's uh, craft the, uh, craft yeah. thing at Folklore that day. And then they, uh, I think I yeah, I think they reposted it. No, but like I'm, I reposted the Kelly. What's it oh, called? The, the uh, armadillo. The crafty armadillo. Your Etsy shop. Huh? I shared, think I shared it. it. Yeah, yeah. You, I, you did. I don't know the podcast. Oh, but. okay. Well, I'll, I'll share it again next time. Well, I'll, crafty I'll armadillo it. Etsy shop. There you go. For all your bags, your makeup bags, and pencil pouches, and blankets, and I don't know what she sells a bunch of crap crafty armadillo stuff there you go I think she took the texadillos thing and ran with it oh that could be copyright infringement then <laughs> i might have to look into that <laughs> to look into it i still have our our deed or whatever it is the, on the city the official name yeah the official copyright to uh -huh. texadillos. i still have that so kelly i don't know is it for sale if somebody wants it uh i mean it's for like gonna be like half a million or yeah. something like that okay so we'll just like turn a lot we'll just 
the Texadillo's brand will grow. <laughs> All right, so let's okay. get into Geno's. We're getting to Geno's. You want to go first? or Yeah, okay. since I went outside my bubble. You went outside your bubble. Um, so, yeah, so first time we went there, uh, I, the family, I, told, I told the family to pay. Oh, he was that guy? No. No? Okay. Yeah, so that was the guy there. And then that guy looking at me. Was, I'm sure down the pictures. He's this guy taking pictures. Yeah, of he's holding uh, like a bunch of meat in his hand, <laughs> carrying. Why is this guy taking pictures of me? Yeah. So the health inspector? Uh-huh. So they caught me taking pictures of them and all that. And uh, so uh, my family and I were out there. And I said, well, since uh, so we're in the area, we're in the area. And my mom and dad listened to this. Gets me mad. But they're always this. Why are you mad? Because they, they, they always want to ask questions about it. So that's like, I don't, I don't wanna, that's, that's listeners. Not from my parents. What do they ask? Just like, hey, so oh, oh. Netflix is due. Netflix is due today. Um, what do they ask? No, I was just like, oh, so when you went and this and that, and I was like, no, I don't know. Tell them to send an email. Yeah, that's just what I said. Send it in an email. And then it won't, it won't be addressed. But then, uh, and then like my mom was like staring at me eating. She's like, I want to know. I'm like, I'm not going to. I just eat. She was staring at you eating. I just eat. And then when I have time at home, then I just write the notes down. I go through the pictures and I'm like, oh, okay. Because. If the food was so good, you're, I'm going to remember it. Yeah. So that's how I, that's how I work. So she watched you eat? She was, I was like, stop watching you me eat. You were choke or something. No. I mean. <laughs> you I turn just, around, put your back to her. Yeah. Oh, so because those uh, Gino chairs spin. Yeah. So I just spun around. I'm looking at David Oder on all oh, the damn TV. He's TVs. everywhere. I'm going to take a so That's what I'm telling That's what I'm telling you. Like, I don't. On a loop, this on guy. On a loop. I'm not disliking him but oh, i am he always is, yeah him. but he is man if we ever have to do something with me and him in the same place like can you imagine i'm not even gonna talk to him i mean like if i would have done taco fest with you he was there right yeah i don't know what i would i probably i don't want to take a picture with him like you took a picture with him well, i'm not gonna be in this picture <laughs> you be in the picture <laughs> oh man <laughs> oh no i was going behind him and do bunny ears very mature yeah I'd do a suck it behind him you make the rules, we break them. Gordo's podcast, anti-influencers. <laughs> all right. But yeah, so David Oder's on all the TVs. He's the end all be all. On a uh, loop. That's the worst part. On a loop. Um, up right here, it says they were top 100 places to eat in America. By Yelp, right? 65th. I think so. Yep, Yelp's top 100. How many restaurants do you think there are in this country? I mean. Millions, right? Yeah. And they're 65. Mm-hmm. So that's a good that's a good one right there. I mean that's the less than like half a percent less than that yeah. is probably on that list of the countries yeah. in this of the restaurants in this country. I yeah, mean, that's, that's, a, that's that's a, a big that's accomplishment, an accomplishment for that. Yeah. And for a little and then uh so it's pretty much like Charles it's a convenience store convenience they have store. uh chips, drinks. Chips, drinks. I'm looking at the back here. They have a lot of Jalapeno oh, things. Yeah, that's yeah, they like the jalapeno. Is that their logo? Logo. Oh, yeah, it's on their logos. On their actual oh, yeah, Gino yeah. logo, it's on there. Yeah, and there's the Budweiser jalapeno. Yeah, they got jalapenos all hanging up yep. everywhere. They Embracing need... the culture. Uh-huh. And uh, so you walk in, and who is the lady? What was her name? It was her wife. I don't know her. I don't, oh, okay. I don't know the name. Or it's, it's, uh, the wife. it's Okay, it's the wife of the owner. From what I understand, from what I can take uh -huh. from Instagram and everything else. Okay. So it could be the wife. But she asked everyone that walks in, first timers. And all of us were like, all of us. Your whole family. She, the whole family. She got out from behind the counter and was giving us that there's uh, two rules, right? Two Three, rules. Two rules. Two rules. And the first one is you don't pay for your food unless you absolutely love it. Yes. Which I wonder what kind of a holes go there. I'm and, sure there's been some. And they eat the whole thing but then i wonder if that's like a clause like, like that should be a thing like oh i didn't like it we well, eat the whole thing yeah there's got to be some fine print yeah so apparently if you don't like your food if you don't know if you don't absolutely love your food yes you get um you don't have to pay for it yeah you don't have to pay for it and the second rule was uh free chips and free chips and a drink and drink which i don't buy it Oh, I'm sure it's included in the price. Yeah, yeah. yeah because yeah. if you go to the the price, it's like every sandwich is like ten bucks, ten, yeah. eleven bucks, whatever, depending what it's you like get. Like buying a combo. So yeah, so but I do like the gimmick. 
of the hey you get it for free well yeah i mean i'm paying 12 dollars. but it sandwich. makes you feel like you're yeah yeah, yeah it makes you feel like smart, you're getting smart something. marketing yeah so i like the gimmick and this was voted what cheesiest place you said yeah. like one of the cheesiest one is of the it cheesiest cheesier than cheesy jane cheesiest things you can eat in san antonio by the current what about cheesy jane so cheesy is in their name you know my name used to be big dan verse food and i never versed any food what about gimmicks. uh gimmicks what about what the the macho burger chris madrid's that's cheesy and it's not big macho. and it's big not macho. is that what it's called the macho burger yeah. Chris Madrid was a insurance fraud. <laughs> but uh my personal opinion. So yeah, so I had uh <laughs> so with the family there, I made them pay for it. Then mm-hmm. I said I'll give them a shout out. And you're mad at them for listening I'm mad at them for, but, your, well, you're paying if, for your meal. Well they don't subscribe to the Patreon, so they gotta pay for the meal. <laughs> we need to start the Patreon soon. <sighs> no. You can't even get <laughs> listeners outside of our friends. <laughs> we wanna get them to pay if you want to listen, you're going to charge you. Yeah. And um, so we had that. Uh, my dad had a big old meal earlier. Mm-hmm. We had a big meal earlier. Like lunch or? Yeah. And uh, he was like, when I asked him, hey, can we go to a sandwich place? He's like, oh, oh, you're hungry. I'm like, I didn't eat that much because I was on. I didn't have yeah. the beans and rice and everything. Yeah, so I'm not full. And uh, I said, well, I got to go to the sandwich place. And uh once the lady said, oh, you don't have to do this, and you get this for free, and we have this, it and he was all, good. he was like, well, I, I mean, we have to, I guess now we have to, and yeah. then you see all the awards, yeah. and everything, <laughs> David like, well, Elder? we have to, David, David Elder, Elder on the loop, <laughs> and so, you know, we have to, so uh, I told him, well, I said, someone has to get the Philly, mm-hmm. because that's what is, that's the, what they're known, they're for. known for, is the Philly, I wanted the, the rabbi, do you have the menu? Yeah. That's like the rabbi... What is I can it? Get it. Rabbi I'll, Express or something? I get it on the on our website. Rabbi style? I don't know. I get it. But I think it. pretty much the only thing is uh, the rabbi comes with uh, I think it's bacon. Mm. Look at all those Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, Pinterest. Yeah, YouTube. that's gonna be your is that, is that, <laughs> soon. Is that Tumblr or what is that? Yeah, Twitch? Tumblr. I don't know. Instagram, Yelp. Email, email and search. search. They probably have uh, what a tout. Maybe the T's a tout. Oh, man. Maybe that's tout. MySpace. They're on everything. They know how to market. All right, let's look at the menu. That's going to be your Big Dan feast. <laughs> Big Dan brand. So they got the whole pound burger, mm-hmm. the badass Brad. Okay. Well, I, I, I want to okay. know who badass Brad is. I'd like to meet him. If he got a sandwich named after him. Salami sandwich, BLT, pastrami, roast beef, Rabbi Scott style. Is that yeah? The one you so got? I got Rabbi Scott style. So it's quarter pound ribeye, uh, steak, hickory smoked turkey, mm. beef pepperoni, grilled onions and bell peppers topped with American and two slices of provolone cheese. So that's what I had, and then my dad had the Philly cheesesteak. Weak of heart and appetite need not apply. This sandwich weighs well over a pound and a quarter. Is that the, That's what it says on their website. Oh, wow. Yeah, it was a pretty big sandwich. Um, now, what I had was, okay, cheesiest thing, right? Cheesiest restaurants to eat, whatever. Yeah. So, only half my sandwich was full of cheese. I guess it ran off or whatever. Oh, okay. But, I mean, I'm not complaining. I had that sandwich, and then um, I got half of the rabbi one with all the cheese, and I gave... The other half of my dad. Mm-hmm. And I took half of his Philly because you got to try the you Philly. You got to try the Philly. So I had the Philly first. And what I like about the Philly is now here's where it's a little bit quality over quantity for me with this one. Because yeah. I've, I've had bigger Phillies. Yes. I've had way bigger Phillies like, than this. Yeah. Like uh, the fruit truck one. We'll, we'll probably do them. So yeah. we won't name them. Um, I've had one at, uh, in Chicago where it's huge. It's pretty good. I, uh, steak escape. Oh, you steak escape. Steak escape every day. Every day we used to steak escape. Um, and then, so, you know, I've had way bigger ones than this, but this one was, yeah, it's pretty good. It's, it is the best one I've probably had other than the one in Chicago. Cause I would think they had to be doing something right. It's closer to mm. f- Philadelphia. And, um, I don't know. There's probably like a taco place up there that's pretty good. You yeah. know what I mean? And um, 
So I like the carrot. I like the onions. I like the the ribeye. The bread, super soft bread. Awesome. Bread. Not uh, excuse me, not toasty. It's toasted, but it's, it's it sops over, up everything, and it's just yeah. It's everything is soft. Yeah. Um, I pretty much ate a whole sandwich, and I really didn't feel feel full. You felt just right. But I felt I was satisfied. Exactly. I was satisfied with my meal. What I like about the Philly is you take bites, and you get meat, you get cheese. But then every, you get the onions, and every now and then you get a piece of like the tomato, mm -hmm. and it's a good little like fresh. It's like, oh, whoa, I forgot that the tomato was there. Yeah, these are the killer tomatoes in Flavor Town. Oh god, <laughs> and it's not a messy sandwich. A lot of Phillies are messy. Yeah, and this is like per you could eat this in your car. Well, on the here, go. Here's what happened with me. Uh oh, <laughs> the last bite I took, I took the last bite. And it, the it juice exploded. almost got me, almost. almost got me, almost got my, but I caught it. I caught it in midair. Wow. The juice. And then I caught it in my hand and then I, I shoved it back in the sandwich. That's good. And, you uh, waste it. yeah. So, uh, yeah, toward the end, it was, whew, it was real juicy at the end, but the bread still wasn't all soggy and good. gross. It was still good Just toward right. the end. And, um, then I had the, the rabbi, rabbi style. Way as a ton of cheese, pretty much it's a uh, Philly, but it has uh, <laughs> turkey. some turkey. Um, I mean, you can't really distinguish the turkey that much from it with everything else in there, yeah. But I mean, still pretty good. I thought it was, you know, oh, you know what? I tasted the pepperoni, oh, okay. that is what I could because I, I was like, oh, there's something in here that's not from the Philly. So I'm assuming that Rabbi Scott used to order the Philly and add. Stuff I, to it, I and, guess that's so. how they, and that's how yeah. they got the name. Yeah, so because I think there is like a a, a Jewish church or community center over on that side of town. Oh, uh, a synagogue. Yeah, and uh, and uh, yeah, so they have Pepsi products. I got a diet Pepsi because mm -hmm. I'm always watching my weight. Uh huh. And eating that uh, Philly, eating the whole Philly, <laughs> and then my mom had a um, it was off the kids menu, like a chicken sandwich. Uh huh. And uh, it was pretty good. It was like a, like a hamburger bun, like a round bun, but it was like a panini press-ish. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was going to be like a chicken breast or something like that, but it's just the sliced chicken from the okay. deli. Yeah, deli meat. And uh, yeah, and I mean, for little kids. And then she was real nice because obviously my mom doesn't want to eat the whole Philly yeah. and all that. And um, she was like, well, what's small? What's on the kids menu? And she said, oh, it's just chicken and cheese, but I mean, we can add veggies if you yeah. want and stuff like that. And I should have told my mom, she, she didn't eat the whole thing, so she didn't like it. Oh, God. It's free. <laughs> you can be one of those uh -huh. comebacks. That's, that's free. <laughs> and then put a, our Gordo's card in there oh, and be God. like, you just paid for exposure, not <laughs> stupid. And, uh, but yeah, so I took a bite of that and yeah, it was pretty good. Um, I actually sandwich. liked, yeah, I actually liked that little chicken sandwich. I kind of want to do that now at home, just panini press some. Bread, whatever, and and they're off. But I can see why this place gets all the accolades and all the awards and triple crown champion, Everything. Grand Slam champion, Chief, the David Elder run, the David Elder award, lifetime achievement, <laughs> David Elder award. You know, one day he's gonna win a lifetime achievement award in, Tech, in San Antonio for what? David Elder. I'm gonna run up on stage and and take it like on what was it? What was it? Kanye, uh -huh. that did the Taylor Swift. That's what I'm gonna. I'm just. I just want to say I think Goro's podcast is way better than this idiot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, it's coming. Oh yeah, it's he's, coming. He's like the face of, like you said, the other episodes. He's, he's the face, face of San Antonio. Of San Antonio. Yep. Yeah. So, so when when we start getting these like celebrity chefs coming in to do their shows, they're gonna. He's gonna be like their tour guide. Yeah. And that's freaking sad. <laughs> you know, but that's him. sad. Whatever. David Order. Central. Go buttons. Go buttons. Anyway. Uh, but yeah, so I like so it. Did uh, everybody in the family like it? Yeah, everyone liked it. Um oh you the free chips, obviously you gotta get Miss Vicks. Yeah. That's that's the option. So I usually get them, but that day I was in a cool ranch Doritos mood. Oh, okay. Yeah, we got Miss Vicks for yeah. everyone. Well, those and are good. uh Yeah, uh, apparently this uh immigrant owned I saw his uh Instagram and where well, he came here with nothing. And right. Made, yep. And made a made it made a badass sandwich and made it. And has did you that. see? They got the bio on the website that he 
what lived in New York and learned how to make like sandwiches. Yeah, and, and came, there you go. Brought it home and brought it down to San, good old San Antonio, Texas, mm-hmm. and made the best sandwich shop in town. Yeah. Meanwhile, we got a madman running the country <laughs> telling them to go home. Yep. And so, um, I'm liking big gyms. Big, 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 big men. Strong, big, strong. Mm-hmm. Go look at the, the, the Vice, Vice video, video of the cut up, a cut up All the sound <laughs> bites of him loving big men, big, big gym. Big, strong, big, uh-huh. strong, strong. They grabbed guys. him. Big guys. They, gra- they grabbed me. <laughs> <sighs> what oh, an idiot. Man. This idiot. But anyway, yeah, Geno's is, Geno's is good. Mm-hmm. So I guess I, I got. Now, now I want to go back for a burger. See, yeah, I want to, like, now I want to go through the whole menu. And next year when we do March Fatness. We still got to figure out what we're going to do. It's going to be burgers. They have barbacoa there on certain days or something. Are we going to do burgers? Is that the... I think so. Okay. I mean, who knows? Maybe it's someone with Topo Danny's. You never know. Yeah. I mean, that's going to be hard, but we'll see. Maybe Maybe we go one day. And it's a bad day. And you know he had he talked too much. He talked too much. <laughs> he he forgot he, forgot the burger. Uh, he had a late night maybe, lift, lift, like maybe. shift. Like maybe there was like a shootout. He has all his paperwork. He's like, I gotta go to a restaurant. He goes late. His mind's not all there. Um, yeah, I mean, look what happened to Eddie's. Look what happened to Jerk Shack. Yeah, Jerk Shack. Got one it day, you. one bad day, and it's toppled. The regime is toppled. So yeah, burgers be a good one. Though. There's plenty of burgers to choose from. Yeah, and. So send us, we, we, like, I'm sure people were mad at the Carnegie Salad thing that we didn't go to certain restaurants. We're giving you plenty of notice to start sending us your <laughs> burger joints that you want us to go try these burgers at that you think should be in the running. So, yeah. So anyway, so, um, so uh, yeah, you enjoyed Gino's? I did. Okay. So. Uh, I'll give it a six. No. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I've, like I said, I've been to Gino's one time before I heard about it from my brother-in-law. Mm-hmm. And uh, nah, it was amazing. it was good like, the first time I we went. So this time, you know, I went with a little more of a, a mindset to actually like s- enjoy it and like not just shove it down my throat, you know, uh-huh. like, real fast, and actually like try to break it down and see how good it was and all that. And uh, so Kelly hadn't been there, so we went over there, and you know, you walk in, and the owner was sitting there. He was on his computer doing work, and there was another guy there behind the. The, the counter and his dress shirt and he was like taking he was taking the money and all that mm-hmm. and then it started getting a little crowded and he's rolled up his sleeves put on the apron and got in there in the kitchen with all him all right yeah he got to work and then uh, i guess it's the wife she came out hey guys first time here and i said it's her first time you know pointed to kelly and she was like okay and she gave us the two rules mm-hmm. you know and uh so we ordered and uh and this is the thing, like, because Kelly doesn't, she likes hers, like, sandwiches and burgers and a plain and dry. Yep. Right? Meat and cheese, whatever. And so that's always, like, a big test for her because we go to some places, you tell them, like, hey, I want it plain and dry. And then you get it, and it's got everything on it. And mm-hmm. it's just like, oh, really? Come on. We told you. But anyway, so I get everything on mine. I get the Philly. And then uh, Kelly, she's like, I'm going to try the Philly. So she got the Philly, too. And she got hers plain and dry. No lettuce, no tomato. Just... Meat and cheese, right? And I got jalapenos on mine. And uh, yeah, they asked us for jalapenos, yeah. and I said I, no. I got the jalapenos on mine, and I like the way they wrap these. They oh, wrap yeah. them nice and tight, with, man. It's like, like with the foil and, and then the, the butcher, butcher paper. paper. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so anyway, so man, they're cranking stuff out. You know, we get our drinks, we get our chips, sit down, and they got they got pretty pretty good amount of seating in there. You know. Yeah. Yeah. And, uh, but it. It gets crowded in there. Like the first time I went, it was mm-hmm. lunchtime, and they got a bunch of phone orders. Oh, okay. And then a lot of people from around. You know, it was it was pretty crowded. So uh, now we ordered our food. We went and sat down. We waited about five ten minutes at the most, and we called our name. We got our sandwiches. We opened them up, and it's that bread is just it's it's toasted, but mm-hmm. it's soft, and ah, it's just so good. Did and you put it under Big Dan or just Dan? I was put it under Kelly because it was her first time. So the oh, order was like, okay. it's her name, like. So they put it under Kelly. All right. And uh, called Kelly. Orders ready, whatever. Went and got it and opened it up. And it was just a cheesy goodness. And took the first bite. It was great. You know, I get all the pe- I got all the peppers and all that in everything. Mm-hmm. And ah, oh, good. And it's like and it's like you're saying the quality, the quantity, the quality over quantity thing. Because like we've had cheesesteaks other places, mm-hmm. Steak and they're cute. they're okay. You know. Yeah. But this, and they're like overflowing, and you can barely pick them up. And 
And this one, you they, can actually they explode the yeah, first bite. You can actually sandwich this thing and hold it, take a bite, and not get get it all over you, and which I like. And it's still filling. It's still a filling sandwich. Yeah. Sandwich. And uh, so yeah, so Kelly got hers, opened it up. It was done right. They didn't add. They didn't. Oh, okay. Have the lettuce and tomato and all. It was meat and cheese. And she loved it. She thought it was amazing. And uh, so we ate it. And, you know, and we're watching the interaction that they have with their customers. Mm -hmm. And you saw some regulars come in and they're giving them handshakes and hugs and how you been talking to the kids, you know, the whole bit. And then the new people and they're giving them the rules, you know, and it's just like it's a welcoming place, you know. And it's you would never think that this little corner store mm -hmm. has outstanding sandwiches. Yeah. Because even there's nothing extravagant about no, the sign. They have their Yelp sign. Yeah, and it's like, Gino's Deli. Boom. Yeah, that's it. And it's a convenience store. And it cranks out amazing food. And that's so freaking awesome. These places, we need all these places. And, you know, it's reasonably priced. You can go in there and get you a lunch for, you know, $10, $12, whatever. Yeah. Be. The, the Philly's a 10-inch hoagie bun, whatever. And, I mean, 10 inches of, of sandwich is a lot of sandwich for... Mm -hmm. and. And this is why, you know, and people are afraid to eat at convenience stores. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. Chas and, and now Geno's and all that. Because it's a convenience store, you know? Like yeah. You don't eat you real get... food from there. So I'll, I'm going to get a sandwich. I'm going to go to Subway and get a horribly made sandwich that's just five total bucks. garbage. And for $5 or whatever it is. And when you can go to Geno's, places like Geno's, and get an awesome sandwich... And be extremely satisfied and support small business. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, get out of your shell, people. Stop going to Subway. Get out of your bubbles. Go to Geno's. Get out of your bubbles. Get out of your damn bubbles. Go to Geno's, man. Like, and like, my the only sandwich, like, commercial or like chain sandwich shops mm -hmm. that I like is McAllister's and Firehouse. Oh, okay. And oh. I don't, I don't like them like all the time. You know, it's like, I'm getting mad. I'm throwing speakers. I like Jimmy John's myself. I'm not a huge fan of Jimmy John's. I've tried them, and it's just I like it's their bread. Too, I don't see. I don't like the bread. Mm. It's too, it's Dense. too hard. Yeah. yeah. And uh, so, like Firehouse is okay. I mean, it's not the best. It's good. It's tolerable. McAllisters, I probably like a little better because they they take a little more care with their sandwiches. Yeah. But I would go to Gino's any day over any sandwich shop here in town, like to mm -hmm. get a, to get a, a sandwich. Now I want to try the burgers. Yeah, now I want to try these burgers. Well, man, I bet you they're going to top with Danny. They could. You never know. But, like, Geno's, you, you just get out of your bubble. Go to Geno's. Don't be afraid to eat at a, at a convenience store. Mm -hmm. Like, it's a it's a hidden gem. on. I don't know if it's hidden anymore, but it's a gem over there. Yeah. It's a diamond. It's a diamond. And that That is a great sandwich. Mm -hmm. Great Great ownership. Great employees. Like, everybody's nice and friendly. They make you feel welcome. Yeah. It's like you walked into your, your uncle's your convenience uncle Gino's, store. That, yeah, your, your uncle, uncle Gino's, Gino's <laughs> convenience store that he, that he owns. Hardworking people over there. There you go. I, lo I love them. Blowing kisses to Gino's. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, man. All right. So that's our review on Gino's. We'll see you next week. No, we got to give the scores. Oh, okay. So with Gino's. This thing has all the accolades in the world. In the world, the, the most important David Elder uh, stamp of approval. Mm -hmm. If David Elder, if it, if David Elder says it's good, then it's good <laughs> enough for me. Six and a half. <laughs> um, I'm, I'm knocking down six points because of the David Elder <laughs> loop. The David Elder loop. I'd rather see guy. I, I, I will substitute. San Antonio's favorite son for America's favorite son. You know what? I would actually agree with you. Guy Fieri. I'd rather see him. I can't stand either one of those. Surfing. D-bags. Surfing on the... On the his nachos? No, his... he's... Uh, the surfboard is the hoagie. Oh, this hoagie gosh. is the surfboard <laughs> in Flavortown. Oh. I didn't know Flavortown was sandwiches. on the coast. It, it's like the Simpsons. Oh, it's, it's just everything. everywhere. It's everything. <laughs> it's like Springfield. Oh, there's, man. there's everywhere. So... This uh, this Philly and and all these sandwiches are the surfboard that people ride ride the waves at Flavortown, <laughs> and the waves. Oh no! So 
we so we gotta find out what's the phone. What's the ocean? No, what's the ocean? Oh, okay. So we don't we we haven't found anything yet. So we got the the two like there's like three water sources <laughs> in Flavor Town. <laughs> The spinach, cream spinach from oh. <laughs> Simi's is the aquifer. Yes, that's the drinking water. So I would assume then that's the rain because okay. the aquifer. So it rains the ocean? cream spinach and okay, stuff. Okay, yeah, so yeah. Okay. So the so, cream spinach is the ocean in flavor. No, nah, we'll, we'll think, we, think of something okay. else. Maybe it's a... Uh, uh, it could I don't be know, one, of the so- one of the dipping sauces we try later. Yeah, maybe. Mm-hmm. Um, the next episode. But but all in all, these hoagies are the or these sandwiches are the surfboards in Flavor Town. That guy, right, I can see him with this riding a hoagie, riding a, riding a hoagie with his hair and his cool glasses and his, and his sandals, sandals with the flame T-shirt, the same one that you used to wear. <laughs> and uh, Jimi Hendrix shirt. No, it's a it's a combo of both. Oh man! So on the front, it's flames like the one you used to wear. <laughs> The and, on the, and, and, and on the back, it's the Jimi Hendrix oh, psychedelic <laughs> acid I'm, trip shirt. I'm telling you, if you ever meet Guy, I bet you, I bet you, I bet you, you can get along with him, with Guy. <laughs> I don't know. You you already you already got on the on the Flavor Town <laughs> oh, train, saying with the cream spinach and <laughs> and and all that. So I think you're I think you're and on Smash, board. And Smash Mouth plays 24 seven. Man, just the one song though. <laughs> Just uh, hey now, yeah, you're all an star. star. Get your game on, go play that one. Yep, that one with Shrek playing on in the background oh, God. all the time. You know he's like big on Tumblr. Who Guy Fieri? What's Tumblr? Um, like it's a, another social like, like a Reddit. No, well, kind of, but with like it's like an online like where you can blog, post blogs, and post pictures, mm. and oh, it's like a picture website, right? Like a yeah. storage. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I watched a song on Impractical Jokers that they did a punishment on Tumblr. Uh-huh. And then one of the jokers knows Guy Fieri. And when they were like, yeah, he's big on Tumblr. Like people love him on Tumblr. <laughs> and then they post or he like called in uh-huh. for a bit. And someone ran to their cubicle and they have a big blanket. Like the blankets you see on, on Zazamora Military. <laughs> it's, it's, Guy but it's Guy Fieri. <laughs> I was like, man, oh. they really do love him on Tumblr. He's America's favorite son. Oh God! Well, he's better than David Elder. See, little by little, you're gonna okay. you're gonna get on board. Um, All right, so let's hear your score. Yeah, so I, I liked it. Uh, everything was good. I want to go back for the burgers. Uh, immigrant owned, came from nothing. Wrote up. You said he wrote up his sleeves. He saw yeah. that they one, needed one help. Who, whoever was behind the, because the owner was sitting there on his computer, mm-hmm. and there was somebody else doing the, doing the, uh, register and all that, and then like a dress shirt and all that. Mm-hmm. And he saw that it was getting busy. He rolled up his sleeves and put on an apron and jumped back there in the kitchen. I'm gonna give it a. You know what? I'm gonna give him. This month has been oh man nothing oh, but man. delicious. Wait, what was the first week? I already forgot what we did the first week. The oh, first jerk shack. Uh-huh. Jerk shack. No, so the last week, the last two so weeks. The, the last week. Was, last week was great. Was great. You know what? I'm gonna. Captain America is by his side. Oh man, holding. Uh, no, Thor. So Thor is Thor's by his side. The so Philly. the hoagie, the Philly is <laughs> Thor's hammer. Oh, man. Which, uh, it's not made of vibranium. I don't know what it's made out of. It's got to be some godly. Some godly. Godly elements, elements and stuff. <laughs> but in the movie, Thor's hammer hits the shield uh-huh. and doesn't destroy the shield and vice versa. Nothing happens to either. Nothing. It just makes a, like a big shockwave. Like a boom. Mm-hmm. The irresistible force meets the immovable object. Exactly, but not with Hogan. That guy needs to go already. <laughs> yes, he does. So, I'll give him, I'll give him a five too. Whoa! I'm throwing a five in there because I like the story, and it's freaking has everything. It's a reason it's getting all these yeah. accolades. It's and good. who are we to judge? <laughs> <laughs> who are we to say that it doesn't deserve any of them? And it's good food. Number six. I don't even know. Is there any other 
like top 100 restaurants in, in, San, Antonio? in San Antonio? I, I'm sure there might be, but I don't know. I mean, I don't know. But the fact that this guy's restaurant, this restaurant is probably out of the millions and millions and millions of restaurants in this country is ranked in the top 100, right? Because he was 62 or something Six, like 65. that. 65. Let's see. Hold on. I'm going to search it while... The fact that he's even in that category says something. That's less than like half a percent of this country's restaurants. Yeah, so that's that why. Made, who, you know, who, like, who are we to judge? <laughs> and see. it's a convenience store. Cranking out world-class sandwiches. Giving it a, giving it a five. Or I'm one. giving it a five because of the story. And it was good. It's Everything good, was good. It's good. Service. Good. Mm -hmm. So I know yours isn't going to be that high. I, I already know. Do we know that? I, I'm assuming. I'm judging. <laughs> what did I say about assuming? Who are you? <laughs> who are you to judge me and the way that I judge this sandwich? So there you go. Why? Why you? I'm gonna look up because I already I found it. Okay. You so found you it. can. Okay. Uh, you That'll can make your. Show. Yeah. So. I love the story, like like you. I love the food. I love the service. Mm -hmm. And there's really nothing I can nitpick on this sandwich or on this anything. I love the fact that it's a convenience store that cranks out some of the best sandwiches in the world, in the universe. And I have... Well, I we, well we haven't stormed I, Area 51 I, yet, so we don't... I, we don't know what kind of sandwiches those aliens are making <laughs> over there. But... I don't know what Thor's hammer is made out of, but you do. Well, you do. You know more about Thor than I do. Uh -huh. I know that Rambo had an awesome, John Rambo mm -hmm. had an awesome knife that had a compass, matches, fishing line, never got dull, could chop trees down, could do it all, mm -hmm. right? Healed his wounds, made it hot, carterized his own cuts with that. This sandwich is as strong as that as John Rambo's knife. Mm -hmm. This is John Rambo's knife. So and Thor's hammer. And Thor's hammer. <laughs> so I'm gonna give him a five. Whoa! Two, two weeks in two a row. Weeks in a row. I'm handing out fives left and right lately. There you go. Who am I to judge? But there, you can't. <laughs> I'm not wearing diapers either, <laughs> like Ric Flair. Like you, there's nothing that you can nitpick about this 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 place. It's no. good. It's great. It's awesome. It's amazing. It's everything. And it made the top 100 in 2018. Mm -hmm. Only San Antonio restaurant on the Yelp. Boom. Get top it together, there, everybody else. Everyone else. <laughs> Get together, South. Yeah. Get together. <laughs> like, the only one in San Antonio. And in Texas, there's one in Austin. Boom. There's one in Mesquite. There's one in Houston, mm. San Antonio, it's Geno's, and then Irving. It's probably some restaurant in the. Oh, oh. no, it used to be in the. By the, by the state. Yeah, by the state. And another one in Houston. There's two in Houston. Mm -hmm. and that's it. Oh, that's hold it. on, hold on. Here we go. California, of course. Everyone knows California. I don't. Yeah, that's it. There was two in Houston, one in th only San Antonio. Only San one. Antonio restaurant. How many restaurants are in San Antonio? Thousands. The only one. Mm -hmm. So who something. who are we to judge? That says something. Who are we to judge? So Gino's. Gino's. Take off that David Oder loop. Yes. Play us. Play us. <laughs> on play this loop. on a loop. Play this episode on a loop. So and yeah, you get five shotgun shells. Oh yeah, so do your. Oh, hold on. Well, well, you, you get do yours. Your tortillas. Okay. Do your tortillas. It looks like I'm throwing money whenever I do that. No. But they're right. tortillas. I'm throwing the tortillas. tortillas in the air. All right. So here's your five shotgun shells for Big Dan. All right. Your five shotgun shells. There well deserved. Well deserved shotgun shells and tortillas. Man, imagine if they... And Simi's got together, made like some type of alliance so we can storm the they White House. The naan as the bread uh, for the Philly. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and Don Jose sauce? Pour it on top, man. Man, 
Yeah. Wow. See? We're building a super team. We're building the Avengers. Did, we're building our own <laughs> Gordo's <laughs> Avengers. Gordo's Avengers. Oh my god. Man. And then all the like South and Smackro, <laughs> like the like the little recurring characters. Yeah. They're not the yeah. So with the Avengers, I think it's Captain America, Iron Man, Thor. In the movies. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Hulk. What about? So those are the like the four. The, uh, Jeremy Renner. Uh, a, I he, mean, he is, but like as far as like, no, the, he's like a recurrent like. Oh, okay. I mean, everyone's an Avenger, but, but the like main, the main four the from core. the movies it's like the is. NWO. Yeah, it's they, like the, Hogan the Nash. Yeah, the <laughs> NW. Yeah, so it's like Hall Nash, Hogan, and Jimmy Hart. No, and uh, and Bischoff, <laughs> Virgil. I guess. Virgil. Virgil. <laughs> so yeah, so like the main four is like Thor. Iron Man, Captain America, and the Hulk, because yeah. they, they got multiple movies. We're, we're the building deal. the Avengers. So, we're building, so right now we have Simi's, uh, have Don Jose, Geno's. And Danny Boys. And Danny. So those, so those are the them. Avengers. Danny Boys is the Hulk because he works out. Yeah, there you go. So he's the Hulk. Cap, I'll give Captain America, I'll give Don Jose. Yes. <laughs> and... Because what says America then? <laughs> then chicken. Then chicken. And Jose. Yeah, and Jose and Joe. And then Gino's will be Thor because he has he the, has hammer. the hammer. And then... Uh, Iron Man is Simmy's. Because he's yeah, he's the first one. Yeah. He's the first one. There you go. And he's been there the we longest. Built the Avengers. He built the Gordo's Avengers. Oh, my God. Huh? Thanos is oh we gotta find Pancake Joe Pancake, Pancake Joe, Joe, is Joe. Pancake <laughs> Joe is Thanos oh my god welcome to the Avengers the Gordo's Avengers uh huh or Macho Lee <laughs> Macho oh no he's like he's like the first yeah. uh, bad guy which is uh no we can't okay so someone has to be a bad guy that ultimately joins the Avengers what about that that is gets saved yeah. well he's an Avenger but he's, he's like a, he's, uh, he's like Roll. oh Smack Roll like Spider Man yeah yeah. Cause he slings he, instead of webs, he's slinging chicken, chicken sandals just chicken left sandals. and right. But like as he calls them, sandals. Sandals. The yeah. So we gotta find our, our because in the first movie there's a villain, but then he ultimately comes around. Yeah. So we gotta find someone that we didn't like. But comes around. Somebody we give but a second we went, chance. But yeah, we get second chance, and then they come around. Okay. So we'll see. One day could be Macho Libre or Pancake Joe. Or... We'll, we'll give the South like. Uh, Hawkeye, or no, what's or the, like the Black Panther, or yeah. no, he's Doctor Strange, one of those. Oh, Doctor Strange would be a good one for the South. For the South, Doctor South. Doctor South. So our Gordo's Avengers, we gotta make shirts now. Yes, welcome to the Avengers. <laughs> Gordo's <laughs> Avengers. Uh, to follow us on this food journey, like and subscribe to our social media pages. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter at Gordo's Podcast. And where can People email us for Avenger shirts. Gordo's podcast at gmail.com. Now we gotta we gotta figure out a name now. For the Avengers. For, yeah. This, uh, I don't know. We'll figure it out. It's gotta happen it. organically. Yeah. We gotta, I don't know. We gotta think about it. All right. And plug uh, plug all your, uh, your big things and find me at Big Dan Feast on Instagram and YouTube. There you go. All right. All right. Thanks for listening. Happy New Stop that man. Well, we're taking the Avengers to stop the <laughs> madman in chief. That's what we're going to do. Uh, thanks for listening. All right. Bro.